Alright, damn it. Yells. Yells. Yells, damn it. Yells. Alright. I'm testing, uh, my, my mic and everything. Can y'all, oh, wait, hold on. Y'all can hear the game now, right? I'm just making sure before I start and fuck everything up. I know you can hear me because I'm loud. I know I, I did it wrong. You guys gotta remember now. What well, I, I know it's August tenth. Okay, you gotta remember that when I make the shows, it's real, real, real late in the morning. The point is, is that the show is made, right? I don't care if it says Planet for Fluga. As long as the show is made and I do it, that's all that matters. So. MF, suck my big black stuff, stick it in your mouth and suck it in a second. Alright. Now. Welcome everybody to WGCW. Shout out to my boy, Joel. I told you you're getting a shout out, Nick. You're getting a shout out, Nick. Yep. Alright. I told you. What the fuck is this? This is a nice looking stage. As you can see, WGCW is on. What the hell is this? Pure Chaos Champion Dr. Blaze is in the building. Dr. Blaze is the PCW Chaos Champion. My bad, jeez. God, god damn it. I can't have my banner there. Everybody's getting butt hurt. Fans are completely shocked right now that the Pure Chaos Wrestling Champion is, is here in WGCW. Y'all gonna stop hating on my banner, nigga. I'm gonna put it back. There you have it, everybody. Dr. Blaze put in an open challenge to anybody who uh, wants to take him on first for his WGCW debut match. That will not happen uh, today, though. That will happen next week to allow someone to start promoing so they can build their character. So, welcome, Dr. Blaze. Welcome to WGCW, first and foremost. Secondly... If I sound like I'm off and I'm I'm just rambling, it's because I've I only had an hour and thirty minutes of sleep. Okay, I didn't go to sleep till five thirty, and I got up at seven. So, <laughs> um, you know, I'm trying to do this. I, I was gonna say fuck it, but <laughs> when I decided not to say fuck it. Ah, boy, my <laughs> Starting things off for WGCW tonight, the charismatic Scotty Star. 
who has his head strongly, strongly in the uh, in the hardcore title race. Um, Imrak, I'm glad you're here. Um, I just wanted, I didn't make your guy yet because I wanted to make sure you came to the shows. And look at this. The debut. The debut of Lazzy, everybody. That's Lazzy with three Z's. I'm so tired right now. You guys don't understand. I am. <laughs> you will for sure be on the next show, Emrick. I guarantee it. All right, so Joe, in case you're wondering what this is, <laughs> this is a uh, this is a fantasy wrestling show that I do, where my viewers send me their created wrestlers. I create them, I create the storylines, I create the show, and it's computer versus computer. All I do is commentate, and uh, that's pretty much E-Fed wrestling for you. Told you, Joe, I'm still a wrestling nerd. Now. <laughs> As this match is underway, Scotty Star versus Lazzy with three Z's. Lazzy making his uh his debut. If you wanna, you know what, Joe? I swear. All right, I'm telling you guys right now. If Joe joins WGCW, go to my website. That's my personal website right there, and uh, you can apply on the WGCW WGCF tab. And. Uh, that's pretty much how you do it. Nice T-ball suplex from uh, Lazzy. Dropping a knee down across the face of Scotty Star. If, if, if Joe joins WGCW, I'm telling you right now, he's joining NPR. I'm just making it known. Nice power slam. Kick out at the count of one for uh, Scotty Star, who uh, had a, has been on a pretty hot streak as of late, winning his last two matches. Uh, against uh, top talent, he beat Goodson, who's number one contender for the Hardcore Championship, and he's taking control of things right here with the uh, one hand bulldog or face crusher, if you will. And Scotty Star with a scoop slam. Right into the ropes. Everybody knows that it's still cables in those ropes, so of course it doesn't tickle. What's up, uh, Chosen Rage? Nice counter clothesline from Scotty Star. Mouth is dry. Got bags under my eyes. But the show must go on. What's up, Hadamari Bread? Nice counter. Chest first goes Lazzy, but back on the offensive as he throws Scotty Star into the corner. Now he's just dropping right hands on him, but gets caught up in the side headlock. And now Scotty Star. Vertical suplex, float over suplex, nicely done, too close to the ropes though to get a pinfall. And he has to break up the pin. Irish whip countered by Lazzy. And a full head of steam, and then he goes crashing into the turnbuckle for the second time. Coming for the third time, crashing into that turnbuckle. Scotty Star is one step ahead of uh, Lazzy. Irish whip over the top, hanging on is Scotty Star. Oh, if the sound is not matching up, let me just say this now while Scotty Star is on the floor on the outside. If the sound is not matching up, there's a resolution bar that says 360p. Put that up to 576, and the sound will sync up together, and it won't sound so, you know, 
out of sync. What's up, Eddie? Nice counter to the clothesline. Edge of Medic neck breaker going for the pinfall. One, two, and three. Just like that, Scotty Star. Three wins in a row. Giving Lazzy a, a upset in his debut in WGCW. And he's proven that he may want more than the hardcore title. Scotty Star has been on a terror as of late. Three straight wins. Congratulations to Scotty Star. Good win in the opening bout. I feel like I'm on like I feel like I'm on like meth or something right now. Like I'm over here just like hyper, but I shouldn't be. I'm, I'm supposed to be tired. You're the champion, how can you not be the best, right? And before anybody goes and tries to jump on Blaze for anything, I wrote the promos for the show, okay? I write everything that goes onto the show. No one knows what's on it except for me. So don't nobody jump on Blaze or nothing. Well, of course he did. He was leaving. Anyone that leaves one E-Fed to another always gets destroyed in their final match. It was amazing, Nixon. I'm just saying, if you get destroyed or whatever, as long as you're the champion, you're still the best. So There you go. <laughs> That's why I wrote it. Yes, indeed. Pedro, the WGCW superhero set to take on. One half of the tag team champions, one half of Maximum Air, Matthew Crash. What's up, Ned? I made you a regular. How does it do that? Regular Bronco Ned. Is that how you do it? How do you do it? I could have sworn I made you a regular the last time you told me. But anyways, this match is underway. Matthew Crash taking on the top step champion, Bidro, the king of the ladder matches. In case uh, you guys don't know what the top step championship is. That title can only be defended in ladder matches, TLC matches. Anything with a ladder it can be defended in. Front face locking an elbow to the back of the head. Kick to the midsection. Irish whip. And a nice counter by Bidra as he was almost going over the top rope. Yeah. 
And Russian leg sweep. I'm a little surprised. I actually have more viewers in here than mods. Let me uh just do a quick check to see who's all online or whatever. Now why is it that I have to go to people that are in WGCW to tell them WGCW is on? Like, it's always at 6 p.m. every Wednesday. It's never going to change again unless something drastic happens. So people should know. It's on the website. But anyways, what's up, Stevie? Bidro went for something and tripped. And then gets a knee dropped on the back of his head. Speaking of Bidro, is, uh, is BD Man in here? Top rope missile drop kick from Matthew Crash. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, copy message. Alright, can somebody unban Bronco Ned, please, while I, uh, while I make him a regular so he doesn't get the, the Moobot shit? And look at Matthew Crash stomping a mud hole through, uh, through Beedro. Back to the front face lock and another elbow to the back of the head. Shots to the body. Two piece. Uh huh. Bronco Ned got banned by Mubot. Big boot to the chest and there's the kip up from Bidro. Bidro with the two clotheslines tying up. Front face lock with. Bidro counter to the side headlock. And a rake of the eyes by Matthew Crash. And nice counter back elbow to back fist uh, combination. Looks like he was trying to set up that Liberty Torch, but countered by Matthew Crash. There's a knife edge chop and a kick to the gut. Irish whip into the ropes. And a DDT as he comes off of the ropes. Matthew Crash. With an excellent DDT right there. Is Ned unbanned already? Can y'all... Okay, there we go. Alright, now Ned, do I need the parentheses? Or can I just... Or do I do add user... Or just, I mean, uh, add Bronco Ned, no parentheses. Okay, so I, I do need the parentheses. Okay. Alright. Bronco underscore Ned. Oh, okay, no. Oh, hurry! Yes! And Matthew Crash just gets sent over the top rope to the outside. And, uh... I think I did it right. I hope I did it right. And now Beedro taunting and showboating his opponent. Exchange of hands here. Neither guy could land one on, uh... Could land a shot on each other right there on that exchange. Headlock takedown by Matthew Crash, and then a huge lariat as soon as Beedro gets to his feet. Taken back down again. It's just to where, like, if you type in caps or something, uh, Moobot won't time you out. The shot to the body. Oh, hurry. Counter. Oh, hurry. Counter again. Front face lock from Beedro, and a knee right to the face. A kick to the gut to follow it up. And there's a nice counter from Matthew Crash as he was getting ready to go over the top rope. And a Russian leg sweep taking down the top step champion. And no problem, Ned. There's a clothesline counter from Bidro. And it'd be pretty huge for uh, Matthew Crash, his first match in singles competition to uh to beat the top step champion i mean he's a he's a very very damn good uh tag team uh wrestler 
But we have not seen what he's able to do in singles competition until today. Until right now. What's up, Matty? There's the fish drop. Bedro trying to stay on top of Matthew Crash, but he gets countered and then takes a right hand and gets knocked off the apron. Irish whip over the top rope, hanging on his Bedro. And he gets punched and dropped off the apron. Modern Warfare 2. I'm down. I won't be playing the objective though because no one else plays the objective in Modern Warfare 2. They just they just run around and shoot, so that's what I'm gonna do. And Matthew Crash getting sent over to the outside. Bedro can take this time to showboat, or he could take the time to regroup and kind of compose himself a little bit here as Matthew Crash has been dominating this match for the most part. As you can see, Bedro's fatigued, he's hurt. Matthew Crash looks like he has a lot left in the tank for this matchup. Irish whip. And a running flipping neck breaker. Nicely done from Bedro. And a huge fish drop to bust him open to follow it up. Blood is in the water. Matthew Crash is bleeding. Trips up Bedro. Delivers a strong right hand and a kick to the midsection. Going for a signature move. Counter! Counter! DDT from Bedro! Can Bedro capitalize? He should have went for the pin there, but he didn't. And there's a kick to the midsection, and there's that Moonlight Drive. There it is, the Moonlight Drive, but Bedro pushing away to get distance here. And he's going to try to get out of the ring, but Matthew Crash cuts him off. Bedro was trying to get out of the ring to compose himself and could not do it. Oh, wait a minute. Here's that Scorpion Death Drop, if you will, that Reverse DDT. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, for Bedro. I, I, there's no way he's going to be able to kick out of that. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. Bedro has just been defeated by Matthew Crash. And that's a huge feather in the cap for Matthew Crash as uh, he wins his first singles battle. Excellent performance by both... Uh, both wrestlers here, but Matthew Crash getting the job done. I will take this uh, loading screen to let you guys know that WGCW is brought to you by Twitch TV, YouTube.com, and Machinima Sports. As I am partnered with all three, bringing you guys the best E-Fed commentary that, well, just E-Fedding has to offer, period. So, thank you all for watching. You could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here kicking it with me, so I appreciate it. What the hell is Playmaker doing in Cash Money's office? Sorry, I'm just a little speechless. I can't believe what we just saw. Playmaker, after the huge rivalry that him and Cash Money had way 
like a few months ago, wants to join Cash Money and, and the rest of NPR and take out Matthew Snowblade here tonight. And he's making his way to the ring with the best entrance in uh, EFED history. Sunday. Hello, Sunday. Ah, my heart shut up first. Fuck you, Mufa. Yeah. <laughs> Are you mad? Do you feel blamed? And this match is underway, ladies and gentlemen. Matthew Snowblade taking on Playmaker, who wants to join NPR. So I guess this is the initiation for Playmaker if he should pull this off. If not, he'll have to find another way to get in, I guess. But uh, Matthew Snowblade from Blood Warriors is not going to let that happen. Or he's going to try not to let it happen. As he hits a nice running neck breaker, taking down the former Cruiserweight champion. Springboard and an elbow drop right to the back of Playmaker, but just a glancing shot. Following it up with a Bulldog. Nicely done. And Snowblade starting off strong here early in uh, this matchup. There's quite a few matches tonight, actually. It's a two-parter show. Um, and I believe we have, like, maybe eight or nine matches. I don't know. Normally, I only do six and... But so many storylines, so much to talk about, so much to do. Because uh, your guys, is a, your promos on the website is getting better and better. So I am uh, reading constantly. First pinfall here, two. Kick out at the count of two. Very close f uh, call for Snowblade there. Getting hit with that edge of neck neckbreaker. What's up, Dart? Are you a junkie? Yeah, actually, uh, the Matthew Crash promo I thought was really good, the last one. I thought that one was really good. And a Russian leg sweep from Playmaker taking down Snowblade. Dropping the knee. If Playmaker hits that signature shooting star press, it will be over for uh, Matthew Crash. Or Snowblade. I almost said Matthew Crash. <laughs> It'll be over for Matthew Snowblade. But the same thing goes for Playmaker. It will be over if Snowblade hits that Frostbite or that Swanton Bomb from the top rope. You have speed against speed here. These guys are evenly matched pretty much. The one with the best technical in-ring ability as far as match skills. And right now with the counter German suplex, it looks like it's Playmaker. But the one with the best match skills will win the match. I'm, that's what I'm going to go off of here. Strength really isn't a factor.
And there's a nice counter neck breaker from Snowblade. Snowblade with the springboard and like an elbow drop mixed with a clothesline right across the throat of Playmaker. And there's that edgematic neck breaker again, but too close to the ropes, and Playmaker will have to let go of the pin. And he follows up with the Bulldog, just like Snowblade did at the beginning of the match. That's a side headlock, Irish whip. And counter neck breaker again for Matthew Snowblade. And he drops the elbow. Nice elevation elbow drop. Springboard elbow right on the chest of of uh, Playmaker and Snowblade, he's flying everywhere now, hitting sentons and elbow drops and going back to the top for another senton, but this time Playmaker was able to roll out of the way and Playmaker showboating here as he outsmarted Snowblade right there. And now working on the, uh, on the knees of Snowblade with that trailer hits. Shades of a Jamie Noble. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Jamie Noble. <laughs> oh, shoulder tackle. John Cena move. Shoulder tackle to death. Oh, hurry. Playmaker could be in trouble here. Irish whip. There's a duck under. Another duck under. And counter. German suplex out of nowhere from Playmaker. And he could be looking for the springboard maneuver here. And things better of it as Snowblade gets back up to his feet. Nice counter by Playmaker. And Snowblade was looking for his signature move. And there's a Manhattan drop. If you are lagging, I do apologize for the lag. Try to refresh the stream. Nice calf kick from Playmaker. Playmaker trying to shake off some of them injuries that he might have sustained during this match here. His back seems to be killing him. Quick jab. There's a trip up from Snowblade. Playmaker fighting his way back up to his feet. Snowblade dazed. And Playmaker with a top rope. Hurricane Rana. Playmaker can fly with the best of them. Springboard shooting star press. That's it. Wait a minute. He's going back up top. Five star frog splash. Playmaker is on a roll right now. And there it is. It's shooting star press connects. The finishing. Oh, wait a minute. Snowblade still fighting after taking Three series of moves there, high risk maneuvers, a springboard shooting star press to a uh, to a five star frog splash, and then that's the trademark shooting star press off the top turnbuckle, and play and Snowblade's still in this. He's still very much alive. Kick to the midsection, playmaker with the Irish whip countered. And Playmaker obviously hurt his knee on one of those high-risk maneuvers as he can't even run the ropes right now. Playmaker with a trip up. Front face lock. And it was Muay Thai needed a face. This ain't VFC. You can't do that. Playmaker going up top. And there's the Hurricane Rana. Playmaker with the Hurricane Rana. On the top rope. Now what's it going to do here? Five star frog splash. Now Playmaker. With the standing shooting star press. And back to the top rope. For another shooting star press. Again just shooting stars everywhere. And that's going to do it. One. Two. Three. And what a match between the two cruiserweights. The high flyers flying around everywhere. Playmaker showcasing his flying ability. As he nailed four shooting star presses. And two five star frog splashes.
What a match for Playmaker, and NPR is impressed, I must say. NPR is impressed. I know the leader of NPR, King Moof, is watching backstage with a smile on his face. It's one of those masked guys. Oh! Sinfall with the lead pipe to the back of the head of one of these masked guys! What the hell just happened? That masked guy just got his ass whipped. I guess that's what just happened. Sinfall getting a little payback from last week. Those two, two masked guys attacked. Attacked, uh, alongside Devastator. They attacked freaking Sinful after his King of the Cage match with, uh, Devastator. That Devastator won and retained his title successfully. You know what? You know what, Joel? That's a good idea. <laughs> Don't say anything. Don't say anything. I'll tell you. I'll text you and tell you. But that's a good idea. What the hell? Oh my god, he's back! Danny, the absolute best, is back in WGCW, ladies and gentlemen. Danny Best is back in WGCW. I'm in complete shock right now. Danny Best making his return to WGCW. Danny Best is the 16th ever WGCW champion. And he will have his hands full. He will have his hands full. Danny Best is set to take on former Universal Champion Camera, the Suplex Machine. There has been 12, there's been 12 champions since the last time Danny Vest held it. There's been 12 WGCW champions. And this is a cage match, ladies and gentlemen. Cam Raw taking on Danny the Absolute Best. Side headlock, counter to an arm ringer, and an insecurity. Nice move from camera. And Danny Best will find the oh, the controller died. This is how you know that it's computer versus computer, right? So, sorry, but Danny Best will find out that the competition has gotten a lot better since the last time he was in WGCW. Let me plug in this plug and play so the controller doesn't decide to go to sleep and stop in the middle of a match like that again. Thankfully, it was at the start. Danny Best with the shoulder tackle, catching camera, uh, going for a springboard maneuver, and catching him again with a knife edge chop, chopping him out the air. Nice running neck breaker. And an elbow drop to the sternum. Danny Best with the shoulder tackle to the back. And he's staying on top of camera, not even letting camera turn around. 
Irish whip countered into the corner and knee to the face. And the Bulldog shades of CM Punk from camera. The kick to the midsection now. Irish whip reverse into the corners. Camera and Danny Best with a full head of steam going for the drop kick. But it sidestepped as Camera saw it coming. But did not see that coming. Face first into the steel cage and then a spine buster. And Camera is hurt. Camera is hurt. Wait a minute. Kick to the midsection. He's going for the pedigree. Oh, counter for Hurry. Back drop by Danny Best. And now he's going to try to climb out and win this thing. But Camera back to his feet and pulling him down. Oh, hurry. Now these guys still going at it here. Danny Best looking. Oh! Poked in the eyes. After WGCW is over, which it's not even close, we're only on part one, but after it's over, as Danny Best hurls camera face first into the solid steel cage, um, please do not go anywhere as I will be talking about some e fetting in regards to PCW, WGCW, and BWC. Um, you know, as you guys know, we are all partnered together. We're one big happy family. But, uh, as of late, not so much. So, uh, we kind of got to talk about that. And then after that, I will either play Lips or, or, uh, Call of Duty or something. I don't know. Madden 12 demo. Uh, Danny Best climbing out. Oh, he's at the top. Danny Best. He's out. Danny Best is out. Camera could not knock him down, and Danny Best will climb out the cage. Cod 4? Maybe after Lips. My boy Joel has never heard me sing, ever. And I've known Joel since we were like in diapers almost. Danny Best! With a huge win over camera. Maybe after a while, Awesome King, after a while. I have to see applications first because if you want a girl, if you guys want a girl manager or whatever, that's fine. But there's people that want to be wrestlers and they want to get in. So, you know, if you have a girl manager or whatever, send it to me and that can be your diva. That is the only exception I will give uh, people for, for um, having two wrestlers is if it's a diva. Because as you know, it's a complete hot link fest and that needs to change. Then why don't you just take Matrix? She's available. And she's hungry. And Nixon, don't worry, I didn't forget your changes. I know I know you want to change in uh your pants. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Leonardo Nixon with the Rocky theme, the fighting, the fighting champion, former WGCW World Heavyweight Champion and Money in the Bank winner. Okay, so this is what I want, okay? I'm going to make, for WGCW Hell on Earth, our SummerSlam, I'm going to make... Um, and that's not this, this Sunday. It's the Sunday after SummerSlam. I'm going to make... You guys choose what matches you want to see. You can't choose who's going to be in them. But you can choose the match types.
Me get owned? How do I get owned? Oh, I'm about to say. I was gonna say, I've never been owned in any verbal battle. And there's a nice calf kick right off the bat from Tyler Starks, who is, I believe he's undefeated. I believe he's a perfect 3 0 right now. And here's a vertical suplex. Oh, wait, knee to the face. Nice counter from Tyler Starks. It would be huge. I say this again. It would be huge. To get another win over a, a top tier star. A former champion at that. Tyler Starks is moving up in these heavyweight rankings. And I know I've been procrastinating a little bit. And I do apologize. But I do have the contender spots written down. I have the contendership spots written down. What the hell? It's, it's that mask guy. Is this the... the what the... What the hell is he doing out here? As I was saying, I have the uh, I have the contendership spots written down. I just haven't inputted them on the website, and I will do so uh, tonight as long as somebody reminds me. Nice slingshot, body press from Leonardo Nixon, and now off the top rope, flying like Shawn Michaels with the elbow drop. Can Nixon pull off a, I don't want to call it an upset, but I mean, this guy is undefeated. Nixon is taking complete control of this match here with the German suplex, high risk maneuvers, and he is, he's in the zone right now. Nixon is on point. Just the go behind counter, and Tyler Starks counter with an arm ringer, and now working on that right arm, or that left arm, excuse me. One for the European uppercut, nice counter. And it will be sick next week after I make you, Corm. <laughs> I see, I got you, I have Polish boy, I have um, Joel. Um, I have quite a few people to make, but you guys will be on the show next week. What's up, BD? BD, BD, BD. Yes, this is WGCW every Wednesday <laughs> at 6 p.m. And what the hell is Tyler Starks doing? He's sitting here taunting this guy on the outside, trying to uh, get in his head or whatever. But he needs to focus on Leonardo Nixon here. Nixon dragging his opponent out into the middle of the ring. Kicks to the midsection. What's Nixon going to do here? Wait, counter! Counter in a downward spiral. Nicely done. Tyler Starks needs to focus on the match at hand here. Wrap around DDT. Down in the middle of the ring. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Nixon. Send it up the RKO. Nixon just hit the RKO. And Tyler Starks still... Still in this match, and he gets out the ring here to kind of regroup, and here comes Nixon right after him. Tyler Starks getting back in the ring first, but decides to fix his hair instead of capitalize, and gets kicked out the ring over the top rope. Oh, nice head kick from Tyler Starks. Knife edge chop, front face lock. And Tyler Starks trying to nail that head kick again. Fifty-four viewers watching WGCW tonight, unable to do it on YouTube Live simply because it's lagging enough for some people as it is. If I ran two streams, it would lag a lot more. But I do thank you guys for watching WGCW, the E-Fed phenomenon that has taken over 
JTV slash Twitch TV. Leonardo Nixon on top rope flying again with the elbow drop. And a springboard crossbody splash. And Tyler Starks fatigued and hurt. Huge scoop slam down in the middle of the ring. Rolling out of the way of the elbow drop. Tyler Starks getting clotheslined. Taken down by the clothesline. Oh! A kick to the dick! Tyler Starks with a kick to the dick. Leonardo Nixon was going for that, that go-go plata. He was going for that Hell's Gate. Ah. Oh. What what makes you leave uh WGCW, Bidra? Oh, there's a roll up small cradle from Leonardo Nixon. One, two, three, and Nixon rolling up Tyler Starks and taking the first match. What's this mask guy doing out here? He did nothing. He just I don't know. Oh, if you're in school, you could still be in WGCW. If you can't make it because of school, I excuse that. Ask Snowblade. Snowblade has ROTC and all that other extracurricular stuff with his school, and I don't, you know, say nothing. But of course, that's your decision if you want to, you know, do that. And cash money and and, and uh, Dr. Blaze, I guess, going over terms of the contract, negotiating backstage. And I'm sure cash money's going to think of a lucrative deal to, to give Dr. Blaze. I wonder what, what, what it is exactly they're discussing. What What's in the contract? What... What terms is this going to be on? What is it? Yeah, well, we'll just find out, I guess, as we get ready for uh, part two of WGCW. So sit tight as I load up part two. But yeah, Bidro, um, if you leave, that's fine. You're always welcome to come back. Whenever, uh, whenever you're ready. But you can be in school and be in WGCW at the same time. If you're unable to make the shows, I excuse that. And you can catch them when you can.
It depends on on what's in your promo. Such as Well, because I know, because I mean, you can Mevo me and tell me some of the things. What's up, no? Yeah, you were on BWC last night. You were in a match. Yeah. <laughs> they, they said you were on vacation. You were on vacation. That's what Pretty told me. I don't know. I don't care. I just know you were on the show yesterday.
Correction and conspiracy. Sinfall, Sinfall has been around since SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 before PCW was ever on JTV. So, technically, <laughs> it's the other way around. But this is an elimination style finisher only tornado tag team match between NPR, Money Power, Respect, King Mufa, and Goodson taking on, quote the legend, Sinfall and Dean James. Shoulder tackle from Dean James taking out King Mufa. Face buster from Goodson taking out Sinfall. Nice uh, reverse kick from from Goodson on Sinfall. Now an elbow to the back of Sinfall from King Mufa as these guys exchange uh, opponents here. Sky high power bomb from from Sinfall and now Sinfall on the outside showboating and taunting. He's the first to go after some some uh, hardcore utensils here. Sinfall with a table in hot pursuit of King Mufa and Goodson sees him. And no need to cut him off as he sees King Mufa with the counter. And there's a, a sledgehammer shot right to the back of the knee. Now Goodson going after Dean James. Goodson's just all over the place. And Goodson with a swing and a miss. Sledgehammer versus Crutch. Sledgehammer wins as Goodson drives it right into the sternum of, uh, of Sinfall. And King Mufa with that steel chair to the face of Dean James. It's going to be a lot of action. It's going to be pretty tough for me to call as uh, Goodson... Drives that sledgehammer to the back of Dean James and now King Mufa on the inside of the ring going to work with that steel chair on Sinfall. Goodson taking a sledgehammer to the back, to the lower back. Oh, what is this? Can't see anything. Okay, here we go. There's a nice lariat by Goodson now driving that sledgehammer into the sternum of Dean James. Dean James taking taking the sledgehammer away and into the gut of Goodson. And now driving into the back. Sin fall with the steel chair to the face of King Mufa. And the only way to win this match is to nail your finishing move, your trademark maneuver, on uh, your opponent. And it's elimination style, so if one person gets hit with a finisher, that does not mean the match is over. Both members have to be hit with a finisher. And over the top rope goes Sinfall. And Dean James going after King Mufa here. Should have went for that patented DDT, but just wants to inflict damage on his opponent right now. Sleeper hold, neck breaker. There's a double gut buster. Good double team from uh, Money Power Respect. Dean James, however, sending Goodson over the top rope down to the outside. Later, Snow Turkey. And there's a crutch right to the legs. And a oh! Dean James saving Sinfall as he drives that sledgehammer into the stomach of Goodson. Goodson almost took the head off of Sinfall with that uh, guitar. Now Goodson with a ladder in hand. Right after Sinfall with Sinfall picking it up and using it on Goodson. Goodson with some still steps in hand. 
King Mufa with a crutch to the back of the neck of Dean James. Taking down the second ever WGCW Heavyweight Champion. And what is this? Suplex from the inside to the outside. And King Mufa knocked off the apron inadvertently by Goodson with that uh, right hand. King Mufa, too fatigued to even run at this point. There's a ladder to the side of the head of Goodson. The only way to win this match is to hit your finishing move. So this match could take a while. Sinfall on the top rope here. What's he? Looking for a high risk maneuver? Sinfo, what is this? Goodson with the panic DDT accidentally nailing his partner, King Mufa. He just heard somebody running up behind him, turn around and give him a DDT. And now driving the ladder into the side of Sinfo's head. Side headlock and a rag of the eyes from Sinfo. Close on by Goodson taking down the former champion. Two-piece, double-team combination, ladder shots, a face buster, and Dean James has been busted open. Blood is in the water. Side headlock, go behind counter. Back to the side headlock, and a huge lariat from Goodson. European uppercut from Sinfall. Irish whip, for hurry, out on the ropes. Out on the apron. It's Goodson. He's a... Uh, Days take some time to regroup. King Mufa showcasing that strength as he hurls Sinfall into the turnbuckle and then drives the knee right into his face. King Mufa with the front face lock on Dean James going for the huge lariat, but it's countered. There's a go behind. And uh oh! Goodson getting hung up on the top rope by Sinfall and quickly hops off of the counter before any damage was done. Scoop slam by King Mufa onto Dean James. Legs bouncing off of that ladder. Dean James sending King Mufa to the apron. He's going to drive that ladder into his face it looks like. But no, King Mufa able to jump down before Dean James could, could do it. Kick to the midsection by Sinfall on the outside. Another one going for the huge right hand. Countered by King Mufa. And going, oh, double, oh, counter. Nice counter. I thought he was going to hit that two-handed choke slam. And a single leg take down to the ankle lock on the outside. Goodson getting taken out with the shoulder tackle by Dean James. King Mufa. Oh, beard right to the face of Sinfall from Goodson. And King Mufa sneaking up on the blinded Sinfall and driving that steel step right into his face. Sledgehammer shot, taking out the legs of Goodson. And Dean James driving that sledgehammer into the throat of Goodson, trying to choke out his opponent. And these guys are trying to kill each other. Irish whip. Pull back, baby, baby, suplex. Nice counter by Dean James. There's an arm ringer from Goodson, but counter to the handle lock. Back drop out on the apron goes King Mufa. Goodson and Dean James tying up. And belly to belly suplex. Sinfall. Tossing Mufa into the steel steps. Back right off of the edge of the steel steps. And there's an STO as Sinfall sidesteps King Mufa. And caused him to hit Goodson with the STO takedown. We have 90 viewers watching WGCW. I want to just say thank you to everybody watching. As you could be anywhere else in the world. But you're here kicking it with me. 86 viewers. Going strong, like WGCW does, every week. 
Thank you guys for watching. Oh, there's a low blow. A shot to the dick from King Mufa on Dean James. And there's a hip toss counter from Goodson onto Sinfall. And moving the ladder out of the way before Dean James could drive King Mufa into it with that running neck breaker. And look at this. Goodson taking out everybody. Anything with feet just got hit with that ladder. With the exception of the referee. What's up, Eddie the Don? Welcome to WGCW Wednesday Night Reckless. You can catch the show every night live. Right here on Twitch TV or Justin.TV. Whichever sub site you prefer. And Dean James. Dean James, it looks like his knee just gave out on him. Four hurry, belly belly suplex. Those of you guys interested in uh, WGCW, what a choke slam! Swinging choke slam onto the sledgehammer by King Mufon Sinfall. If you guys are interested in WGCW, please, please um, check out the website, which is www.killfeedgaming.webs.com. And uh, normally we hit 60 viewers, but I guess since Blaze joined, we got 20 viewers. 20 extra viewers, 20 to 30. Signing Blaze is good for business. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't even see this. That Dreamer Driver. Sinful nailed the Dreamer Driver. And Goodson fighting his way back up to his feet, trying to avoid that Sweet Dreams DDT. Kick to the midsection. Irish whip, full head of steam, and trips over the, the steel steps. And what is this here? Vertical suplex and the knees of Goodson bouncing off of those steel steps. King Mufa driving that ladder into the face of Sinfall. And now sees Dean James coming. And too busy taunting as Dean James broke the chair on the face of King Mufa. Oh! Huge inverted suplex. Gut first into the solid steel steps. And King Mufa... With that swinging choke slam, that has got to hurt. That has got to hurt. And there's that Michinoku driver through the ladder. Through the ladder, Sinfall wisely getting out of harm's way as he knows that dreaded Mufa bomb was on its way. Uh-oh. King Mufa's down. This is the opportunity for, for I mean, uh, Sinfall's down. This is the opportunity for King Mufa to capitalize. And hit that Mufa bomb. But he doesn't. But he does not. We just had 103 viewers. That was the high for tonight. It dropped down to 89. I want to thank everybody for watching. And please feel free to click that follow button. Please please follow the channel so you know when I'm streaming live. So you can catch all of the WGCW action. As well as other gaming. All live. And let's please stop talking about the whole Dr. Blaze switch in from PCW to WGCW situation. Okay. Deidre is leaving WGCW. Okay. Am I happy about it? No. But that is his choice. Everybody should move on. <laughs> Goodson been busted open as both men were hit with the with that guitar. King Mufa taking out Goodson and Dean James with that guitar. And I love Beedro's character too, but they might, you know, it's his choice. And there's a Death Valley driver. 
Oh, the dreamer driver. Oh, oh, the DDT! The DDT! The sweet dreams DDT and Goodson has been eliminated. This is a two-on-one handicap match right now. Two-on-one handicap match. Goodson is going to be forced by the referee to the back. You guys have to realize in the end that e-fetting is just a game. That's all it is. <laughs> no one's going to do it forever. And nobody gets paid for it except me. So, <laughs> you know, just, just chillax on these situations. It's not that serious. And look at this sinful beating the snot out of King Mufa with that crutch. Jesus, King Mufa, the leader of NPR, is in a bad way here as he takes on two for sure future Hall of Famers. As you guys know, for the last, uh, I'd say three months, since Battlegrounds, I have been planning the WGCW Hall of Fame, and I just haven't had a uh, chance to get around uh, to doing it. So... I want to devise a poll, and Vamp, pay attention because you are the guy who edits the website. I want to devise a poll to where you guys can vote on a wild card to get into the Hall of Fame. Like, I have five people for sure that are going in this year, but there's going to be one wild card. And this wild card could be Dean James, or, or not Dean James, but it could be... Um, Razor Ramon Hard Gay, it could be Prototype, it could be Hollywood Hitman, it could be Haymaker Henry, it could be Brad Bradley, it could be any of the WGCW originals. Um, so just make sure, you know, you vote carefully. And look at this, King Mufa actually holding his own until he got bulldogged right there. I will have a Skype call of WGCW Originals to decide on on uh, who qualifies for the Hall of Fame. And nice elbow to throw to Blockbuster and King Mufa. He's he's trying his hardest to fight this one out here. And there's an STL counter. King Mufa is actually still in it. This took a hip toss. May not be in there for very much longer. Irish whip into the ropes. And the knee giving out underneath uh, Dean James. And Sinfall catching King Mufa off guard with that shoulder tackle. Remember, that's WGCW Originals. That's a Skype call for WGCW Originals. And by Originals, I mean... Vamp <laughs> and Playmaker and 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 GTFO, <laughs> it, it will be originals. Just know that. There's a huge clothesline and a crutch right to the back of the head. As soon as King Mufa starts to get something going, he gets taken out by one of the other guys. Dean James or Sinfall. What is this? Pump handle for a hurry! There's a pump handle launch right there. King Mufa trying to hold his own here. Look at this. Counter to front face lock. Huge lariat taking down Dean James. And he runs right into a sky high power bomb back first onto that sledgehammer. What? A counter. Oh, King Mufa has been busted open as he takes that crutch straight to the face. And King Mufa with the jawbreaker. He's still fighting. How is he able to even continue? Single leg takedown and an ankle lock from Dean James. You can't win this by pinfall or submission. You have to nail your finishing move. And 
sent, sent for taking two back elbows from King Mufa and a right hand to follow those up. And here's double team action. A kick to the midsection and a double DDT. And this team of Dean James and Sinfall makes a pretty awesome team here. Vertical suplex nicely done by Sinfall. Both of these guys, Dean James and Sinfall, have DDTs as their finishing maneuvers. And there's another spine buster as King Mufa thought he was going to get something going here. Sinfall, groggy and, and fatigued after that uh, huge spine buster. Sinful looking to set up his DDT. There's a vertical suplex from King Mufa. And now King Mufa going to work. Nice takeover and a shoulder tackle. What's up, Leon? Irish whip into the corner goes Sinful, the first ever undisputed champion. And a scoop slam. Back first on that crutch. And there's the go behind counter. And a headbutt right to the back of the neck. And Sinfall is just taking it to King Mufi, the leader of Money Power Respect. They're just beating the brakes off of him right now. Trying to inflict as much damage as possible to make a to send out a, a message, make a statement here. <laughs> Driving that sledgehammer to the back is uh Dean James. <laughs> And then into the knee. King Mufa is in a clear no-win situation here. Wait a minute. I might have spoken too soon as he drives that sledgehammer to the gut of uh, Sinfall. And as he tried to run and follow up on the counter, but his knee just gave out on him. And he can't, he can barely even run right now at this point. Bulldog. Nice move from uh, Dean James. And look at this. King Mufa still fighting. A jawbreaker. Club and blow to the back of the head. Irish whip. And King Mufa stopping himself, going for the huge shoulder block, but gets caught with a hip toss right on the on that uh, crutch and sledgehammer. And look at this! King Mufa with two close lines, folding Dean James inside out, but then getting run over by Sinfall as soon as he turns around. And Sinfall just, just toying with him right now. Just keeps throwing him into the ladder. Making his legs go out. And look at this. Sinfall is just toying with, with King Mufa here. But King Mufa is still fighting. Look at this. Counter and a trip up. Stop on the midsection. And a kick to the dick. Dean James cutting off any momentum that King Mufa might have gotten started there. Go behind counter. Irish whip. What is full Nelson slam? Full Nelson slam, and this could be it right here. Wait a minute. Widowmaker. Dean James with the Widowmaker. Springboard fail as the Dreamer Driver. Sinfall has nailed the Dreamer Driver. Irish Whip. And the Sweet Dreams DDT. And that is it as Quote the Legends has dominated. Money, power, respect. A bloody mess is Dean James. And bloodied up is Mufa. King Mufa's bloodied up as well. What a match. What an amazing match. Quote the Legends absolutely dominating.
Yeah, major props to King Mufi. He tried to hold on and battle through that two-on-one situation as best as he could. Wait a minute! Not done! What the hell is... What the hell is, uh... Ryan Cash doing out here? He just dropped King Mufa! Is he joining Quokola? Okay, I guess that's a no! Ryan Cash! Just came out here and dropped Dean James and King Mufa! What the hell is he doing? What's up, brother Ian? What the hell did we just see? We just saw Ryan Cash just come out here for no reason and attack Dean James and, and King Mufa. Wow, I did, look, let me take this uh, loading time. Oh, wait a minute. Good to the Sinfall going at it. King Mufa. Coming back down the ramp to help out, to help out his buddy here. What about Ryan Cash? What the hell is this? Ryan Cash is gone. Playmaker and Danny, the absolute best, are out here confronting King Mufa. And uh, wait, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Sinfall trying to fight for his life. And maybe Playmaker went and tried to convince Danny Best to to join NPR with him. What the hell is going on out here? I am completely confused. Ryan Cash came out here and dropped both Cult of Legends and and uh, uh, the King Mufa, and then he left. He just fuck y'all and left. King Mufa now backstage with Todd Grisham. And what the hell is this? Danny Best, what the, 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 I'm confused. What's going on? People are attacking people for no reason. I don't know what's going on. Danny Best just dropped King Mufa backstage. He just came out here and jumped Sinful with King Mufa and then he attacks King Mufa. What is, what's going on? What is going on, damn it. I'm so confused. I'm just a boy. What the hell? I'd just like to point out that if everyone is completely confused as to where I'm going with this, then I am doing my job correctly. Alright. We're ready for this uh, contract signing Cash Money and Dr. Blaze in the ring here. And Dr. Blaze, you see it, sign it on the dotted line. There you have it. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Anthony Jeter is going to take the challenge. He's going to take the open challenge and face Dr. Blaze next week. On Reckless Live. This will be Jeter's chance to promo and build his character. And this will be uh, a good debut match for Dr. Blaze. Anthony Jeter just came out and and just... Uh, well, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Anthony Jeter just, just came out, accepted the open challenge from Dr. Blaze that he made at the start of the show. Danny Best is attacking everybody. Freaking, what the, what the hell's going on? Now I remind you, Dr. Blaze will compete in action next week on Reckless. Tonight is just the night to get everything official. He is a proud member of uh, WGCW.
I want to know what Danny Best was doing. Like, what was he thinking? Like, what was going through his head? Damn it! I thought I changed this. Okay, see now? This is the part of the show where if a botch happens, I take it upon myself as an EFED owner to say, DJ, I fucked up. <laughs> I know you don't want him tagging the fans. I will change it. I do apologize. That's that's how you handle that. That's how you that's how you do that there. <laughs> so I will handle that. I know he's a heel. You don't want him touching the fans. Fuck the fans. Stick it in your mouth and suck it and suck it. <clears throat> What's up, Fast Floyd? Yes, with the double duty. That's right. You bring your happy ass down here, and you guys will all see where I'm going with this. If you guys, if you guys right now are completely, 100%, absolutely fucking mind fucked, then I'm glad. What's up, Floyd? If you guys are completely mind fucked right now, I mean total inception, then I then good. Cash Money will promo what's going on later on tonight. You guys just gotta just this is this is where the promos start to become important on the website. So if you want to start writing promos, you need to. Your guy came out during the big contract signing of Dr. Blaze. Um and accepted his open challenge. So King Jeter, I need you to promo against Dr. Blaze to make it more interesting. But we got this match on the list. Tyler Starks with that wraparound DDT suffered his first loss to Leonardo Nixon, former WGCW Heavyweight Champion, and is back out here for more competition as he's trying to make a name for himself and prove that he deserves to be in top title contention. There's a nice uh, overhead belly to belly suplex from uh, Evgeny Boudreaux. Boudreaux, a very, very skilled mat technician, suplexes galore. Suplex and backbreakers galore, I should say. And Tyler Starks. You sh he's a. Uh, He's more of a, a instinctive wrestler. He does things on the fly, like that rep around DDT. He's a counter kind of guy. Nice Russian leg sweep taking down his opponent. I just want to thank everybody for watching as we did reach uh, the high for this week. Actually, for this month um, in viewers with 103 viewers for WGCW. So, uh... Thank you guys for all watching and supporting WGCW. As I try to make it a good show for everybody. Nice vertical suplex from Evgeny Boudreaux. You guys enjoying the show so far, right? Right? I mean, you're, you're a little mind-fucked and in complete inception, but you're enjoying the show nonetheless, right? 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 Going for a suplex? Nope. Counter a snap suplex from uh, Tyler Starks. Now Tyler Starks. Oh! It's low bridged. And now 
Evgeny Boudreaux with the springboard moonsault. Crashing down on Tyler Starks to the outside. Into the corner. And a nice counter calf kick by Tyler Starks getting out of that situation. Sends Evgeny now into the corner. Full head of steam and a huge clothesline. Taking down one half of the tag team champions. Springboard cross body. Didn't get all of it. Both of them back up to their feet at the same time. Sidestep and arm ringer. And now the hammerlock scoop slam. Working on that arm of uh, Tyler Starks as Evgeny Boudreaux. Close line to the back. This is one of our two main events, ladies and gentlemen. Our final match will be Cash Money taking on Jay Awesome in a submission match. And with the way things have been going so far tonight, who knows what's going to happen? What's up, Drizzy? Driz Hogan. Doom, 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 doom. And this motherfucker. Nice counter trip up from Evgeny Boudreaux. There's a poke to the eyes. And the fans not taking too kindly to that. But Tyler Starks really doesn't care. Spinning back kick to the head. Went for the calf kick, ducked. But catches Evgeny in a side headlock. And then a modified uh, fireman carry. There's that wraparound DDT again, and Evgeny Boudreaux kipping up. Kick to the midsection. No counter, and a kick to the back of the head. Evgeny rolling over and hitting the up kick on Tyler Starks, and now Tyler Starks being smart and getting out of harm's way as he's going to try to regroup here and take some time and cause uh, Evgeny to run out of momentum here. There's a kick to the body. Irish whip into the corner. And Tyler Starks putting Evgeny on the top rope. What's he thinking about here? You can't springboard Hurricane Rider from right there. That would be sick if you could. But you can't. Oh, wait a minute. Reverse suplex from the inside down to the floor on the outside of the ring. Reverse suplex. Face first into that, that two-inch mat. Solid concrete underneath that mat. These guys are going at it here. Kick to the midsection. Thrown into the uh, barricade. Huge lariat coming out of the corner. And Evgeny Boudreaux back into the ring as the referee has a count of five. There's the count of six. And Tyler Stark's able to get back in the ring before the count out. Oh, head kick. Nice head kick from Tyler Starks. European uppercut from Evgeny Boudreaux. Looking to make a name for himself in singles competition like his tag team partner Matthew Crash did earlier. He gets caught again with this wraparound DDT. Elbow to the back to follow it up. And Tyler Starks is on top of uh, Evgeny Boudreaux right now. He has the momentum on his side. Boudreaux. With the forearm and clothesline combination. But then gets caught with a spinning back kick to the back of the head. Side headlock. And a nice vertical suplex from Evgeny Boudreaux. A running elbow drop to, to follow it up. Arm ringer and working on the arm is uh, Evgeny. Nice arm drag takedown from Tyler Starks. Dropping the elbow. Side steps the head kick. Does Evgeny. Irish whip into the corner. And now what's Evgeny going to do here? Oh, counter by, by uh, Tyler Starks. As he saw the clothesline coming. One step ahead of one half of the tag team champions. Into the ropes goes Tyler Starks. 
And he comes back again with that wraparound DDT. Obviously one of his signature moves as he loves to do that move. Side headlock from Evgeny. And Evgeny now with the half half underhook suplex. And the elbow drop to follow it up. And now a series of elbow drops right into the shoulder blades of Tyler Starks. And Evgeny could be getting a little momentum going here. Huge Lariat taking down Tyler Starks. Into the corner. Full head of steam from Evgeny. Countered. And Tyler Starks putting Evgeny into the corner. Now hanging him up in the tree of woe. And wisely getting down as fast as he could was Evgeny. Now going for the right hand. Counter head kick. Counter head kick. And he could be going for the pin here off of that crow cop like head kick. One, two, three, and just like that, the crow cop head kick takes out Evgeny Boudreaux. Tyler Starks was unable to defeat Leonardo Nixon, but was able to get the pinfall victory over Evgeny Boudreaux. Mirko crow copped. Now the one he hit Alberto Del Rio with. Awesome. Jay Awesome just now arriving in the arena. Making his way out to the ring. As he is set to take on Cash Money in a submission match. This match is underway. As Cash Money stayed down at ringside here. He's made a change of clothing. No interests for these guys. Not a reason for that. Be mind fucked. Be mind fucked. Now. <laughs> Jay Awesome driving the elbows into the mat. And don't worry. There's a 60 minute time limit. But it's not an Iron Man match. I just want to make that clear right now. This match will not. Go the full 60 minutes, I hope. Nice hurricane on a takeover by Cash Money sporting the new attire. But if there's not a submission within the 60 minutes, then the match is over. It ends in a draw. So, that's why I got the, uh, the time limit there. There's a shot to the body. Irish whip and a nice spine buster from Jay Awesome taking down Cash Money. Cash Money with the uh, the poke to the eyes and then the zigzag neck breaker and Cookie's just mad because nobody online really knows who he is. And Cash Money with the Tennessee Jaw Jacker. Shades of a Daddy Doring. Yes, that's right. I said it. <laughs> or a test. Go behind counter. There's a rake of the eyes there. Jay Awesome and Cash Money have battled it out more than 10 times. Both of these guys, WGCW originals, these guys have. Jay Awesome actually holds uh, the victory. Uh, the win-loss ratio over uh, Cash Money. He has seven wins to four losses. Cash Money is four and seven against Jay Awesome. And he kept up already. And what is this? 
working on that that shoulder. Cash money working on the shoulder of uh, Jay Awesome. These guys tie up here. Arm ringer by Jay Awesome and working on that arm. This is a submission match. The only way to win this match is by submission. There is no pinfalls. There's no count out. There's no. Oh, flash kick. And a head kick to follow it up and cash money. Stringing some strikes together here to try to get some momentum building. Going for the head kick. Sidestepped. Jay Awesome with Irish Whip. Countered by cash money. And there's a counter. And there's a counter to the counter. And Jay Awesome comes out of the corner fighting, swinging. Forearm shot to the back there. Cash Money is not going to win the strength battle. He's going to have to use technician skills and speed to outmaneuver Jay Awesome. And to out, he has to outstrategize him. And there he goes working on the arm. Cash Money has made it his uh, finishing move ever since defeating Harley E. Stepp and uh, Leonardo Nixon for the WGCW World Heavyweight Championship. That Anaconda Vice. Cash Money landed a smack down with the People's Punch. I think it's raked in the eyes that Jay Awesome will go through through all the stops here to get a pinfall. I mean, a submission victory over uh, over Cash Money. There is no pinfall. There's a spear in the corner and Cash Money pushing away to get distance here. And there's a huge lariat out of the corner. And Cash Money getting out of a bad situation there. Side headlock. And Jay Awesome taking Cash Money down with that lariat and then taking him down again. And Cash Money with a counter to the front face lock. And what is it? Oh, T-Bone Suplex! Good show of strength. Obviously not stronger than Jay Awesome, but for him to lift him up and hit that T-Bone Suplex. And then that springboard uh, moonsault, just a glancing blow, but it looks like Cash Money took more damage than Jay Awesome did. As Jay Awesome is up to his feet first. And those high-risk maneuvers can cost you. Cash Money with a shot to the body and runs right into a swing and choke slam. And Jay Awesome could be looking to finish this right here. And Jay Awesome went for the submission, but Cash Money rolled out of it and countered. And you can see his ribs are hurting him after that huge choke slam he just took. And he gets his head ripped off by that clothesline. Cash Money with the reversal on a calf kick, working on the legs. Drop kick to the back. Cash Money's going to have to do a lot more than that to. To do any type of significant damage on Jay Awesome. Knee to the face, but Jay Awesome comes right back with a huge right hand and an elbow to the back of the head. And there's a German suplex. Nice counter to the clothesline by Jay Awesome. And now Cash Money pushing away to get distance, but Jay Awesome right back on top of him with that STO. Cash Money still fighting though, pushing away to get that distance. Cash Money ducking the Lariat. Counters with a front face lock and a head kick. Uh-oh. Jay Awesome with the kip up here. Irish Whip over the top rope. And just shoulder thrusted right off of the apron. And Jay Awesome signaling the end is here. And Cash Money. Went for the springboard clothesline, but Jay Awesome saw it coming and sidestepped it and ripped his head off with a lyric of his own. Cash Money with a rake of the eyes as he's trying his hardest to fight and stay alive in this matchup. Ducking the lariat. Cash Money takes a right hand. And Cash Money goes up and down on the backdrop. Jay Awesome absolutely dominating. He could be a little bit fatigued here. Wait a minute. Jay Awesome with that surfboard stretch. Will Cash Money submit? 
No, cash money refusing to tap. And now cash money with an arm ringer. Fireman carry takedown. Now putting the boots of cash money sitting here showboating and taunting uh, his opponent. They also a multiple time champion as is cash money. Jay Awesome has Cash Money's number. He's beaten Cash Money more times than anybody else in WGCW history. Cash Money now with a vertical suplex. Nice suplex by Cash Money. And a regular eyes by Jay Awesome as he gets back up to his feet. Cash Money with a go-behind counter and a clothesline to the back. Irish whip into the ropes goes Jay Awesome. And there's a shout out neck breaker. Cash money could be starting to feel some momentum building up here. And there's those elbows right into the shoulder blade. Cash money could be setting up an anaconda vice perhaps. What's he doing? Oh no, he gets caught with a right hook or a left hook, whatever. He got punched in the face. <laughs> and Jay Awesome trying to take NPR off of their throne. Snapmare takeover. Nice counter by Cash Money. And these guys tie up. Cash Money winning the 